Coming up next, I'm going to show you an unpackaging and an unboxing of my latest fragrance that I just bought at Osme Perfumery. It's a beauty, so stay tuned. Welcome back, everybody, to Joel the Nose. Uh, how do you like my shirt? For all you soccer fans or the rest of the world football fans, do you know what jersey I am wearing? Ooh, ooh. Can you tell what jersey this is, what team this is? Put it down in the comments if you can. I want to see who can get it. All right. What I want to show you guys, I just left Osme Perfumery here in Miami in Wynwood. I am outside of uh, downtown Miami now, and beautiful day. Here is, when you go to Osme, this is what the package comes in, a beautiful package. They put uh, some, you know, like paper in the top. They actually spray it with um, perfume. So when you leave there, it smells in your car. You take it home, it smells great. So anyways, there you have it. But when you pull out, this is the fragrance that I just bought. You can see here, this is Ligno from Jeroboam. Ligno from Jeroboam. Can you guys see that? I think you can. All right, I'm gonna give you a quick unboxing and just a quick first impression of this. Uh, obviously, I've been wearing this. I've been trying this over a number of weeks and I decided to go ahead and pull the trigger. I never blind buy. I've said this before, if you watch my channel, I always wear a fragrance first. I test them out on a scent strip. If I like the smell on the strength, scent strip, that's my first filter. The second filter, then I put it on my skin. I wear it on my skin probably at least two or three times, sometimes more, sometimes I, I know right away, but I gotta wear it on the skin first, either from a sample decant or from at the store here at Osme, you can spray it right from the bottle on your skin. And I like to, of course, see how it dries down and make sure I like the fragrance. After doing that now a couple times, I've decided to pull the trigger on Ligno from Jeroboam. This is an extract parfum. This is 30 mLs, retails for about $120. Um, highly just great French niche house. So. Let me open this up for you. Obviously comes in the wrapper there. And then the presentation. I've never opened this before, so bear with me, guys. Okay, so it comes in a box, as you can see. The box, by the way, just, this is a 25% extract parfum. Again, you can see 30 mLs. And the box is like a nice deep brown. Then when you open it up here, it's sitting in a foam kind of, uh, you know, resting or stand, a foam stand. And then you hear, here you have the bottle for those of you, actually I'm not looking at the sun, I can take that off. For those of you who have never seen uh, Ligno, the bottle, again, it's a 30 ml bottle, so this is small. I actually like smaller bottles because that way I can have more fragrances and I don't feel like they're going to waste when I have big 100 ml or bigger bottles. Just personal preference. Not everything comes in a 30 or 50 ml, but when I have the opportunity, I like these. So you can see it's got like a gold cap. Um, you can see there, gold cap. And it's like a, again, like a dark brown, almost blackish bottle. And it says on the front, Extrait de Parfum, Ligno, Jeroboam. And let me give you a spray. This has never been sprayed, so you got to kind of prime the pump when you first spray these. That means that's a good sign. When you have to prime, oops, a lot of wind out here today. When you have to prime the pump, that means, of course, that it's not in the sprayer yet. It needs to come up through, and it means it hasn't been used. Little trick, if you buy a fragrance online, let's say from eBay or Amazon and you don't know where it's at. And sometimes this actually happens in department stores. If it's already like coming out full spray, right when you first spray it, that means somebody has already sprayed it before. So, all right. Oof. 
Oh, man. This, so this is a patchouli bomb. When I say bomb, patchouli bomb. The notes on this actually at the top are patchouli, it's got pine, it's got bergamot, clary sage, geranium. The middle notes are, again, patchouli, Indonesian patchouli, uh, castorium, orris butter, saffron, and at the base, you have patchouli, ambergris, ambroxan, labdomen, and musk. So you have a lot of kind of musk, castorium, ambergris. These are that anamolic notes. This is an anamolic patchouli bomb. This is not for the faint-hearted. This is not a freshie. This is for people who want to stand out. You're probably thinking in Miami in the hot weather. I've worn this a lot already in the warm weather. It works great for me. I'm not going to stand out in the hot sun, but inside in air conditioning, like you are most of the time here in Miami, this works perfectly. Patchouli to me is one of my favorite fragrance notes. A lot of people, for whatever reason, in the West, in the United States, have not really adopted patchouli that much, especially fragrances that are patchouli centric like this one, but this one to me just hits it right. It's mixed and, mixed and blended so well. Last, I'll do a full review later. I've already worn this a few times. So I already know it's gonna last over eight to 10 hours on my skin, but I'll, I'll do a full review later. This is just an unboxing and first impression again. Let me just show it to you guys. There you have it. Again, this is Ligno from Jeroboam from France, the Extrait de Parfum. First impression, hope you guys liked my view towards, that's kind of towards downtown. And by the way, on the other side of those tall buildings is where the Miami Heat play. Their arena, the American Airlines Arena is right behind there on the water. So right behind those tall buildings is Biscayne Bay and the beautiful water. You got Miami Beach out there. You have the cruise ships. Everything's right behind all that. So just a little factoid about Miami or a little information. So thanks for watching again. This is Joel the Nose. That's my first impression of Ligno, which I literally just bought at Osme Perfumery. As you can see, I don't just review fragrances I don't buy. I buy fragrances that I like and I review them. So there you have it, Joel the Nose. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Peace and love.